Hello my viewer. As one of the candidates was doing revision at home, he came across a certain question. And as I was going through this question, I came to realize that this is a very, very important question which every candidate must be able to know how to solve it. This was question number 49 from a certain past paper which I cannot be able to say exactly which one it was. And the question reads, Hassan shared his land among his three children. He gave to that of the land to the first child and a quarter of the remainder to the second child. He was left with 0 0.273 hectares, which he gave to the third child. How much land did he share out altogether? The question requires you to calculate the, the size of the whole piece of land in hectares. To approach this question, this person shared his land among his three children. Now let us call these children A, there was a child B, and there was a child C. Going back to the statement, he gave two land of the land to the first child. So child A was given to that. That is two land of the land. And a quarter of the remainder to the second child. So, if you look at what this first child received, it was just two land of the land. We are therefore required to work out the remaining fraction here of the piece of land, which we are going to take a quarter of it to belong to the second child. Therefore, child B received a quarter of the remainder. This is a quarter of the remaining piece of land after child A was given to that. Now to get this remaining fraction, that is the remaining fraction after the first child was given to that of the land, this one we can be able to get it by taking the whole piece of land, then we subtract what the first child got. I've, I've taken 1 minus 2 over 3. This one here represents the whole piece of land. And I can remember there's a time when I said that whenever you have something like this, this one here should be treated as a fraction of the whole. Look at the denominator here. So the whole piece of land was 3 out of 3, which if you simplify this one, you are left with 1. This is a very comfortable expression here to work with because with a denominator 3 and 3, the LCM remains 3. And therefore, with the LCM of 3, take the numerators and direct subtract. And or rather, subtract them directly by taking 3 minus 2, which will give you 1 over 3. And therefore, the remaining piece of land was just 1 over 3. And with this one land of the remaining piece of land, it was not given to child B all of it. Child B received only a quarter of the remainder. And therefore, child B, who received a quarter of one land, this person received 1 over 12 of the land. So this is the fraction that child B are received. All right. Now we can be able to get the share for child A. The share for child B, which we have already worked out. But now when it comes to child C, we still need to get his or her fraction. So for child C, we should now take the whole piece of land and then we subtract what child A got plus what child B got. That is two land, you add one over two. This is the share of the two children. And now with this uh, kind of a fraction here, we can get the LCM of 3 and 12, which will just be 12, and then we proceed on. That is 1, you subtract, uh, of course, the LCM, the LCM there is 12, which you, once you divide by 3, you get 4, multiplied by 2, you get 8. Repeat the same with 12 divided by 12, you get 1, multiplied by 1, you get 
1. And therefore, the bracket alone here will give us 9 over 12. And therefore, uh, child C received 1 minus 9 over 12. This one we can be able to simplify. If you take 9, you divide by 3, then you get 3. Well, if you take uh, 12, you divide by 3, you get 4. And so, a child C got 1 minus 3 quarters. Child C got 1 minus 3 quarters. And as I have just said, take this one here and express it as a fraction. Look at this denominator here, which is 4. So, this now will be 4 over 4, which has to be subtract, uh, has to, uh, uh, has to subtract three quarters. And as usual, the LCM here, there remains four. And so, this now will give us four minus three over four, which will just be a quarter. So far, the share for A, share for B, and the share for C. Note something here, that the share that C received, the share that C received. This is the one that will help us to get the size of the whole piece of land. Because here we are told that Hassan, after sharing uh, this piece of land among his uh, three children, he first of all shared among the first two, two children, and the piece of land which was left, which was 0 0.273, was again given to the third child, the whole of it. And therefore, if the third child who received a quarter of the land received this, the expression that will help us to work out the whole, the size of the whole piece of land will be, uh, you take a quarter of the whole piece of land to be equivalent to the share of C, which is 0 0.273. Remember, of here we represent with multiplication, and therefore you just take a quarter, you multiply by that size of uh, the size of the land, which will now be equal to uh, 0 0.273. If you do cross multiplication here, you multiply there by four, and on the other side by four, you will get now the size of the whole piece of land to be equals to 0 0.273. You multiply by four, and this now will give you 1.092 hectares. This was the size of the whole piece of land. And you can see that answer was available there. That is the way that question was supposed to be done. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to become a member. Thank you very much.